Okay, welcome back to part two of problem two. In the previous problem, we started problem two on the exam and we reduced these three sun lines uh, on this piece of paper here. Uh, so we started out with our declination or GHA, we determined an LHA, we pulled values out of HO229, determined an azimuth angle, and then finally calculated our distance towards or away the assumed position. What I've done, um, since you were last here was I filled out this universal plotting sheet so that we can uh, plot our final answer on it. And just notice that I set this up at 30 minute intervals. So I shrunk all these down uh, so that this is 30 minutes instead of one degree. I also went ahead and plotted our 0745 position as given in the problem. And then from there, you can follow along as we plot all of our uh, three sun lines and then determine our 1130 running fix from there. So the first step in plotting these is going to get our assumed position for each one. And so we assumed that we were at 29 degrees north latitude. And then for each of these, we assumed a different longitude. But notice that they're only uh, one tenth of a mile away from each other. So given that the problem is asking for an answer to the nearest, you know, three to five miles, then I feel okay just plotting one assumed position for all three positions. Uh, all three sun lines rather, and then going from there. So I just labeled this as AP123 because we're plotting the assumed position for each of the three sun lines and we'll, uh, we'll navigate from there. The other thing I wanted to do was lay out our DR track. So it says the problem said that we were on a course of 165 degrees true at eight knots. So I'll just go ahead and lay that out. I don't need to label each DR position um, to solve the problem, but normally if I was navigating, I would. So from there, the next step is to calculate the uh, altitude intercepts for each of these uh, APs. So uh, for the first sighting, we were 12.5 miles away in a direction uh, from 088.2. So I'll plot that one next. So this would be 088 over here. So if I was going towards it, that's fine. But I'm going to be plotting away from that one. And I determined that I was 12.5 miles away. So I'll do that on this scale here. And then I'll plot a perpendicular line to get um, my sun line for that one. I'll just go ahead and label that sun 0830. And so if I was DRing, that's a good sign that uh, that's about the right position, but um, we'll carry on with our next two. So the next uh, site was at 930 and it said we were 9.5 miles away from an azimuth angle of 96.1. So plot that one next. Again, this would be 96.1 over here, but we are away. So plot in this direction. And we said we were 9.5 miles away on that one. Again, I'll draw a perpendicular line, and that'll be the sun line for 0930. And I'll label it sun 0930. Finally, our last DR was, or our last sun line was for 1130, and we measured that we were 17.5 miles towards an azimuth of 149.4. So I'll go ahead and plot that one next. From the AP, I'm in a direction of 149.4, and we said it was 17.5 miles towards. Once again, I'll draw a perpendicular line, and that represents the sun at 1130. So don't fear, these are not lining up yet, but remember this is a running fix problem. And so uh, this 1130 is the time that they want us to do our running fix for. So this one we do not need to advance at all, but these 830 and 930 lines, we do need to advance. So here's the 830 and here's the 930. 
There's other videos out there on how to do uh, running fixes. So uh, this is my method and you can just follow along with it if you want. So I generally pick a point on the uh, original sun line and then I advance it uh, along the DR for the distance and the time required. And so for the 8.30 line to the 11.30 line, that was two hours. Sorry, that was three hours. And it was at eight knots. So that's gonna equal 24 nautical miles. The 0930 line to the 1130 line equals two hours. Again, at eight knots. So that's going to be uh, 16 nautical miles. 165 degrees true. So I just need to advance those uh, along that vector. Since I already plotted my 165, I don't need to monkey around with that too much. So I'll go 24 nautical miles. Looks like I didn't draw it long enough. And then I can just parallel down um, my original 830 DR to that new position. And I'll label this one 0830 to 1130 sun. So I have my 1130 and my 0830 to 1130 running advanced sun line. And the last step would be to advance the uh, 930 line. So once again, I'll just kind of, um, I'll pick a point on the 930 line. I'll advance that one. And it was gonna be uh, 16 nautical miles because it was two hours. And then finally, I'll parallel the 930 line uh, from where it started to my new point. That's where it's advanced to. And it looks like the three lines cut fairly well. So I'll label this one 0930 to 1130 sun. And then this would be my 1130 running fix. Okay, so I have my 1130 sun line. I have my 830 sun line that I brought down three hours. I have my 930 sun line that I brought down two hours and where they all meet is the fix. And so based on that, I can get my uh, latitude and longitude from it. So the latitude is uh, 28 degrees and it looks like about 36.5 minutes north. And the longitude, 71 degrees 09.0 minutes west. And so looking at the choices here for the final answer, uh, it looks like choice A is my closest answer. And it, compared to the Coast Guard, I was off a mile and a half on the latitude and a half mile on the longitude. And so I would count that as perfectly fine. In this case, we took a couple assumptions along the way. Uh, so A would be the correct answer. Thank <laughs> you.